Okay, Sarah. What this is, this is the, probably the most dangerous area of your house, the kitchen area. And in the kitchen, obviously, you've got your cooker. We have a large number of fires involved in the kitchen, and particularly in the cooker area. What I'd say is, look, obviously, it's a, it's a nice large cooker here, but you have to lean over here very often to reach the far side. Make sure you've got no clothing hanging down there, because as you lean over, this is a gas cooker, and therefore you could catch the, the clothing and light from there. The other thing is, I see you've got some tea towels there. Make sure you don't put the tea towels in there, because they'll be over the flame the when that's on fire. The other thing is chip pans. If you've got a chip pan, make sure you only fill it to about a third full. Make sure you put it away on the back of the, the cooker, mainly because of, of George. And make sure you keep an eye on it all the time that you're cooking. Okay? Also, make sure you don't put things like this too close to the cooker. That could easily ignite, and then obviously the rest of the area could quickly come involved in the fire. This is the main fire in the house. We have it on a lot, especially in the winter. So what would you suggest with the children particularly? Well, obviously one of the most important things with the children is, is to make sure that they can't go close to it. So make sure you get a guard, fire guard. It's quite popular now to have open fires in, in houses, particularly these gas, gas fired ones. Also, by putting a guard there, what you also do is you protect it in case children want to throw things accidentally when you leave mm. the room. Soft furnishings, toys, they can easily get thrown into fire. They can start off quite a small fire. The other thing is I suggest that you put a clothes, if you're going to use a clothes horse to dry your clothes, particularly this time of year when it's a bit damp, make sure that the clothes horse is far enough away from the fire so that the heat from the fire, the radiated heat, doesn't catch light to the clothes on the clothes horse. Well, we've talked about um, the cooker and the fire and how to deal with those. What would happen if the worst thing happened and a fire broke out? Well, the most important thing is to be prepared for that to happen. So what we suggest is that you formulate your own escape plan well in advance before any fire. That will enable you and your family to know what you're going to do if a fire happens. Hopefully by fitting the smoke detector it will give you more time. So the best things to do is to come up with an escape plan before you start. Think about the design of your house. Think about your normal routes around the house. So that if you hear the smoke detector, then what you can do, you can take your children and escape through the normal means down the normal staircase. If the worst comes to the worst and you are trapped in an upper room, what we today say to you is to go into the room to put something under, around the door area, because that's where the smoke's likely to come in. Go to the front of the house if possible, open the window and shout, so that when the fire crews arrive, they'll know where you are.